So if I had my footer, let's go ahead and just add a footer here. We're going to say data dash role equals and then footer. Now inside of the footer, we can have an H4 tag and let's just call this footer. And I can start adding my same types of buttons right inside of my footer as well. So now if I hit refresh, you'll notice here's my footer and here's my buttons inside of my footer. Uh, and then I can have these buttons do something as well. If I want them to link to a certain page, I can do that as well. So that's how you work with um, buttons inside of a, both a header and a footer. You can also group buttons inside of a control group. Let me go ahead and do that to the footer. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to add, we're going to learn about control groups in a little bit, but I'm just going to add a div tag and then in an attribute, I'm going to say data dash role equals control group. And we say data type. You can have two different types of uh, uh, control groups. You can have horizontal or you can have vertical. In this case, we're going to do horizontal. Apologize, I, it's hard to see my keyboard with my microphone here, but let's go horizontal. And then we're going to have a class equals, we're going to say UI dash mini. I'm going to say UI button, UI dash BTN dash left. So it will apply it to the left. And now we're going to start adding multiple buttons right inside of that control group. So I'm going to have a button here. And this is uh, just a href UI button, BTN icon rights, icon plus. So There's the plus icon. Then we're going to have a another icon here. Let's go ahead and say, okay, this is the arrow up button. And then we're going to have one that says arrow down. There we go. So we have three buttons inside of this control group. Now if I hit refresh, there's my buttons inside of my footer here. And in fact, I can actually take my control group and I can place it inside of that H4 tag. So now I have my buttons contained within that header here. Now, they don't always look the best in the footer. You may want to actually use what's called nav bars inside of the footer. And we'll talk about that later. But as far as these buttons, you can also take this control group and you can place it. Let's get rid of the buttons here. You can place that inside of um, inside of your header as well. So now if I have my header, there we go. There's my buttons right inside of my header. So that's how you work inside of a header. You can start uh, adding buttons. You can start adding control groups. You can also add nav bars uh, and everything else. But one more thing that we're going to explore is we talked about before you'll notice that the footer is always kind of right after wherever the page content ends. Well, that means we have a lot of space that just really doesn't make sense here. So if I wanted to have this footer set in, at the bottom location, no matter the screen size, all I have to do is come into the footer div tag here and I just say data dash position equals, and then we're going to say fixed. And now it automatically, as soon as I refresh this HTML file, it automatically takes that footer, places it down at the bottom. And so no matter what the size of it, it's just going to automatically adapt there. So that way it's always fixed down at the bottom. So that's how you work with buttons inside of headers, inside of footers, how you make the footer uh, fixed and, and um, also how you make the buttons themselves just become icons. Uh, with certain colors as well inside of jQuery Mobile.